So, Star Wars. I actually saw it yesterday. I went to an advanced screening and got some free shit from Pure Storage. Yeah! Now, this may come as a shock to you, but unlike most fat people on the internet who are into comic books and sci-fi, I'm not really a huge Star Wars fan. At this point for me, I feel about the same way for Star Trek as I feel for Star Wars. Something that was really good in the past, but over time has become more and more and more about the products. So when I went to go see the movie early, I really went in with no expectations. None. I didn't go in thinking it was going to be horrible. I didn't go in thinking it was going to be the return of Jesus. Or Luke Skywalker, apparently. He looks very Jesus-y. Actually, he looks very wizardy. Oh yeah, Luke's in the movie for 20 seconds. I guess you should really just go ahead and press this button if you want to skip to the end and just see my 10 score thing that I do at the very end of this because from here on in it's going to be spoilers. Okay, so let's talk about what the movie did right. Well, it got the characters right. It got the action right. It got parts of the story okay. Cinematography was fantastic. Direction was good. Effects were good except for one Thing. And overall, it wasn't that bad of a movie. It's certainly better than any of the prequels. So what did the movie do to have me keep cutting to this reaction? Well... Uh... Okay, the main bad guy... Kinda reminds me way... Way too much of Hayden Christensen. Like... Way... Way too much of... Annie. And I get that it's like poetry, they rhyme, but seriously, it was way, way too much like Anakin Skywalker. Way too much like Hayden Christensen. And then there was the big battleship thing that they had that was like Death Star Plus. So check this. Instead of building a moon-sized planet-destroying thing to go and destroy planets. Let's cut into a planet to make a planet-sized thing to go and destroy all solar systems by sucking in a sun? Yeah, it sucks in a sun. Somehow that works. Which is like, you know, here's a big planet thing, and at the end of it, they blow it up. So far, sounds pretty familiar. Again, it's like poetry, so if they rhyme. And then there was the big baddie. So there's this hologram thing that's supposed to be taking the place of Darth Sidious, I think. You know, the Emperor, that character. Yeah, um, that, that thing sucked balls. I mean, I, I, that took me right out of the movie and put me into The Hobbit. It looks like something right out of a Peter Jackson film and not in a good way. I mean, seriously, Abrams, you did fantastic makeup on all the aliens. Couldn't you just get some guy and put him in burn makeup? Would it have really been that hard to get V. Neal on board? I mean, I think she would flip her shit if she got this opportunity. But no, he had to make them all CG and kind of looks like a big burnt mummy person who's really obviously CG, and, uh, that's, um, yeah. And there were some issues with the story, I mean, I mean, I kind of liked that it was Han Solo's son, the, the Ren guy, and that he was, you know, all evil and shit. I wish they'd got somebody different, the guy playing him again was like Anakin Skywalker. It's yeah, like it's poetry, like poetry. they rhyme. rhyme. But I really feel like they misused some of the older cast, like um, Leia should have been doing more. C-3PO could have done a few more things. Mark Hamill maybe could have done something other than this. Uh, little, little things, but all in all, it, it wasn't terrible. I mean, the movie wasn't terrible. I'd probably go see it. Again, maybe. But I'll tell you right now, if you wanted to go see the movie and it's been sold out, you couldn't get tickets until January 23rd. No, don't worry. You're you're 
It's nothing really, I mean, it, it's no game changer, you know. So on a score of 1 out of 10, I'd probably give it a 7, you know, it's, it's pretty good. It, it had some pretty, it had some damn good action, some damn good dialogue, great story in places. It just doesn't really rise that much further above a good-ish movie. Anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, check it out in the comments below, and co comment, check, check the comments and comment. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter and check out my gaming channel. And as always, have a good day. Hey! Shit,